So now we're going to get into what I think is probably the most fun aspect. Well, not the most fun because there's more to come, but a really fun aspect of text manipulation, which is setting the method, the layout method to path. When you set the layout method of your text to path, what happens is your text, let's select the text tool. If I click in my text, I get a little line under the text. You see that? And I can now grab that line to manipulate my text and I can double click the line to add a new point and you see the point has Bezier control so we can modify that however we want to create a nice little text flowing on a path and this sets up a whole nother range of controls if we look in that layout pane and scroll down now you see we have a whole set of things path options and here's where we get into some really, really fun things. Right now, we're set to the path type Bezier. We can change that to B-spline, which allows us to manipulate the path, you know, in that alternate method using B-spline controls. We can choose whether the text wraps around. So, for example, if my text was longer, You see the text is now wrapping around the duration of the path. All we have to do to fix that if we want to spread that out is make our path longer. <laughs> Revealing my little typo there. But so the longer our path, let's just go ahead and add another point there. And now you see the, the longer my path, let's just fix that typo there, which is, uh, you know, we now get all that text fitting in that one path. So you can choose whether or not you want that text to wrap around and, and whatnot. And we can also choose if we want the text to align to the path. If I turn that off, you see my letters all remain right side up normally. But if you turn align to path on, the text changes its, its orientation to fit the curvature of the path, right? So you can manipulate that depending on what your desired results are. And probably the most important parameter is this one over here called path offset. And this is how you would animate your text to flow along your path. And this is, again, also where that, that wraparound becomes really important because if wraparound is off, you see the text just goes along the path and then it vanishes. When wraparound is on, it, the text is going to pick up again at the top of the path. So we have this endless cycle of our text moving along our path. So this is, again, just a standard parameter, but you're gonna, you can animate this using keyframes or using behaviors, and I'll cover all that stuff about animating in uh, Module 105 a little bit later in the training. But you know, anytime you see a parameter, always remember you can animate that over time and make that change. So we can manipulate this however we need to to have our text fly on or do whatever manipulation we want it to do.